Managing C3 glomerulopathy involves taking a combination of medications and making lifestyle changes to help control symptoms and slow down kidney damage. Unfortunately, there is no specific medication for this rare disease and there is no cure. You will likely have a team of healthcare professionals working together to help you manage your condition as effectively as possible. Here's how they may assist you in managing this disease. Your primary care physician or nephrologist will oversee your overall care and treatment plan. A dietitian may help you make dietary changes to support kidney health. A social worker or counselor can provide emotional support and help you navigate any challenges related to your condition. Your care team for managing C3 glomerulopathy may include the following specialists. Primary care provider, PCP They monitor your kidney health during routine medical visits, address any health concerns, and assist in managing related conditions such as high blood pressure. Nephrologist, this doctor specializes in kidney diseases and will monitor your kidney function and blood pressure. Cardiologist, this specialist keeps track of your blood pressure, blood cholesterol, and other heart risks, and adjusts heart-related medications as needed. Registered Dietitian, many people with C3 glomerulopathy require a low-sodium, low-protein diet, and a dietitian can help create an eating plan. Pharmacist, they fill prescriptions, provide medication education, ensure there are no dangerous medication interactions, and may recommend medication changes to your doctors if necessary. Social Worker, they can help you navigate the different types of care needed, assist with coping with the emotional toll of the condition, and refer you for further help if needed. If your C3 glomerulopathy is mild, with less than 1.5 grams of protein in your urine each day and normal kidney function, your healthcare team may recommend. Diet Changes, a low-sodium, low-protein diet. Blood pressure-lowering medications, ACE inhibitors or ARBs. Cholesterol medications, statins if cholesterol is elevated. For moderate to severe disease, with more than 1.5 grams of protein in your urine every day or declined kidney function, your care team may suggest immunosuppressants. These medications include azathioprine, cyclophosphamide, glucocorticoids, mycophenolate moftal, MMF, rituximab, sirolimus, tacrolimus. Research suggests that a combination of MMF and steroids may work best in achieving lower rates of remission and end-stage kidney disease. If immunosuppressants don't work for you, your care team may suggest a drug called eculizumab. This medication can block the part of the immune system that causes harm in people with C3 glomerulopathy. Before starting you on eculizumab, your doctor may perform a blood test to check your levels of a substance called soluble C5B9. If these levels are high, there is a good chance that eculizumab will work for you. If you do respond to the medication, you should start to see improvements in your condition within three months. Some individuals with C3 glomerulopathy and specific genetic mutations associated with the disease may undergo a plasma infusion or a plasma exchange. Plasma is the fluid part of the blood, containing proteins. During a plasma infusion, plasma is administered through a tube inserted into a vein. This new plasma can contribute proteins to your blood, potentially preventing C3 glomerulopathy. On the other hand, plasma exchanges remove harmful proteins and replace them with healthy ones. Having C3 glomerulopathy puts you at a high risk for end-stage kidney failure, with a significant percentage of patients needing dialysis or a kidney transplant within 10 years of diagnosis. Unfortunately, the condition can also reoccur after a transplant due to its root cause in the immune system. In some cases, the disease can progress rapidly, leading to a condition known as rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. Treatment for this typically involves hospitalization and the use of glucocorticoids, cyclophosphamide, or MMF to reduce inflammation. If you have the dense deposit disease type of C3 glomerulopathy, it's important to regularly see an eye doctor, as this form of the condition is associated with protein deposits in the eyes called drusen, which can impact vision. Treatment for this may involve drugs used for age-related macular degeneration. There are currently some clinical trials underway to look at new treatments for C3 glomerulopathy. A few treatments that are currently in trials include avacapan and daratumumab. 
Avacapan is already FDA approved to treat other conditions and research shows that it can slow the progression of C3 glomerulopathy. Daratumumab has worked well in people with multiple myeloma, and researchers believe it could also help some people with C3 glomerulopathy, as the disease also starts with a protein problem for some individuals. Your doctor can advise if a clinical trial might be appropriate for you and provide information on how to enroll. While there is no immediate cure for C3 glomerulopathy, your healthcare team can work with you to create a treatment plan that will work best for you.